Pacer's PBX Cloud Edition is now officially announced. As Yester Partner, you can use our newly designed device managed platform, Yester Central Management, or YCM, to deploy and maintain the Pacer's PBX Cloud Edition, as well as manage the Cloud PBX resources contained in your platform. In this video, we'll explain how to create and deploy Pacer's PBX Cloud Edition with the YCM. For a trial round, we go to the Panda portal and click on Purchase. Then find P-Series Cloud Edition. If we haven't bought any hosting package previously, we can directly apply for a trial license for 30 days with no payment required. All we need to do is to fill in the information and click Order Now. Then we will receive a mail indicating us that the trial license is activated. And what to do next? Of course, after submitting the application, we can go to Yester Central Management and get into the YCM. Here we will log into the system automatically. Of course, we can also manually log in by putting in Yester ID and the corresponding password. But if you don't have a Panda Portal account, you can simply go access this to become a Yester partner. Or go to this website to apply for a turnkey trial and we will guide you to the following process. Then we can go to my subscription to check how many extensions, concurrent costs, and recording resources we have available in our YCM. Within the remaining capacity, we can create P-Series PBX Cloud Edition instance with no other limitations. If you don't have enough available extensions, we can go to the distributor or Pana portal to get more. As we have sufficient resources, now we will move on to create an instance on the YCM. Now we go to Cloud PBX category and select PBX. Here we have a list of all created PBXs. Here we click on Add to create a new one. Then in the pop-up window, we can start to put in the parameter. First, we name the PBX. Then we can choose PBX plan for this Cloud PBX that we are configuring. Enterprise plan and ultimate plan are available for choosing. The features and services included in each subscription plan are totally the same as those of the P-Series PBX Appliance Edition. Then we can choose the PBX firmware version. Here we recommend the newest one. Then we can define how many extensions and concurrent costs we want to assign to this particular call PBX. You can put in any number as long as it doesn't surpass the remaining quantity from the last step. And after this, we can choose to enable or disable the call recording for this Cloud PBX according to the customer's need. If enabled, we can also decide recording capacity. Then, we can choose server location for this PBX. Each Cloud PBX created under our YCM can be deployed to different servers, meaning that, for example, we can manually choose a server that is geographically closest to each individual end user. Then we can continue to define the URL for this Cloud PBX. It will be the universal access for this Cloud PBX. Administrators and Linkus web clients can get into the PBX directly with this link. For the last step, in PBX type, we need to define if this PBX is a trial or an official PBX for commercial use, and define the expiration date for this PBX. Then in customer information, we can put in the owner information of this Cloud PBX. Click on Add. Then we can select from existed customers in our system. Or click on Add Customer to assign this PBX to a new one. Here in the pop-up window, we can put in the customer information. Please note that the first name, last name, company information, and email are obligatory. And this email will be used to, to receive activation mail from the YCM. When we finish all parameters, click on Save. This PBX is now created. Get back to the PBX list. We will find this newly created Cloud PBX. We can see that it's not activated yet. To enable this PBX, we can click on Start. And the system will send the activation mail to the assigned mailbox in the previous step. When we receive this mail, Use the link and activation code in this mail to activate the Cloud PBX. 
You can check this video to see how to prepare the created Cloud PBX instance and do basic configurations so we can make internal and external phone calls with it. And for more advanced call routing and call features, we also have videos to explain the setting process. Of course, if needed, we can customize the activation mail, get back to the YCM interface, and in Cloud PBX section, find PBX email template. Here we can customize the mail as we want. Just remember to keep the variables for activation code and link. All right, that was how we create and deploy MP Series PBX Cloud Edition with the YC app. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to learn more about Yaystar P Series PBX system, please visit yaystar.com. And of course, don't forget to subscribe our channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.